Welcome to Oracle Marketing Cloud Help Center videos. In this video, we will provide an overview of push notifications and responses. A push notification is a message you can send to your app user's screen to communicate with them directly. There are three types of push notifications, basic push, rich push, and in-app push. Basic push and rich push are both notifications you send to users when they're outside of your app. An in-app push, as the name suggests, is a notification you send to your user while they're inside your app. You can create rich push and basic push notifications by clicking on campaigns, then create campaigns, and selecting push. Choose an app from the drop-down list. Once you've written your message, go to notification action. Launch app and open URL are both basic push actions. If you select launch app, your app will launch when the user swipes or taps on the notification. If you select open URL, the URL you have entered will open when the user swipes or taps on the notification. Open rich message is the rich push. If you select open rich message, a rich HTML message opens when the user swipes or taps on the notification. You can provide responses with the URL to the rich message or you can store the file in Responses, or you can drag and drop it from outside of Responses. With a basic push or rich push notification, you can use personalization tokens. In the campaign shown here, the campaign will populate the token with the user's first name. To create an in-app push notification, create a new campaign. Now select a file stored in Responses or drag and drop one from outside of Responses. You can also choose how the message will be displayed. A full screen message will fill the entire screen, while an alert message will be a standard sized rectangle in the center of the screen. From the campaign workbook, you can edit the campaign settings. The campaign workbook is similar for both push and in-app campaigns. With an in-app campaign, however, you can set your message so it will only display if its trigger happens during a time you schedule, while a push campaign will display as soon as you've clicked launch. Additionally, in a push campaign, unlike in an in-app campaign, you can send messages to the message center. Once you've finished creating your campaign, click on Validate to see if there are any errors. If there aren't any, click Launch to launch your campaign. For more information, please go to Topliners and click Know It. Thanks for watching!